يا مرحبا يا شباب مرحبا هلو واكم جايز اند جيلز مرحبا وسهلا this means hello and welcome مرحبا hello and um سهلا يعني واكم um now now we want to write our first unit test now it's the time as you might remember from the previous video, we created this empty TypeScript file here in tests package. The format date dot tests because we have format date TypeScript file here in composables. So let's get it on. Okay, we, first we can describe our test and we say Describe unit tests for format date composable. This is just for you that you know what you're doing or for your uh, teammates. Okay, semicolon at the end, and now. Again, parentheses equal sign, greater sign. And now, curly braces to get started. The first thing, it from V test, yeah, this is the it is to iterate through each test. Uh, okay, parentheses. Now we give it a name, or this is our first test. When uh, date is valid read then I'm used from Kotlin and Java always to write tests when then when then do this okay when date is valid then return formatted date okay parentheses equal sign greater sign and curly braces. I also make sure here's a semicolon at the end. And now we can write some logic. Okay, let's take, let's start with our first date. Const date one equals, equals, I don't know, um, what, what kind of date we have. Uh, we have 2024 uh, and uh, 23rd of January. Okay, let's call it, let's call it uh, actual date. Let's call it actual, actual date one. And then we have a const expected date one. And what we do now expect is the, the reverse order of the date. The day first, the date 21st, period 01, period 2024. This is what we are expecting. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Let's get started. And we will have a result. Result date one. And we'll say use format date, of course, to test it. Let's give it actual date, one. Semicolon at the end. And now we can 
basically what we can do is duplicate these lines, just change everything with one to two, and of course the actual values in here. Uh, let's take another date. Let's take I don't know. Um, let me think. Let me think. We'll take. 1st of February. First of February. And that's it. And here of course we have also actual date two. And yes, that's it. Now we can say expect. Mm. Expect result date one to be to be expect date two and uh, expect date one and the same thing basically for the other ones. Okay, now we can run this. You can run all the tests here because we have only one test, but update, okay, okay, okay. Something failed. Uh, something failed, something failed. Uh, sorry, mm, I think we have to clear. We have to say npx v test run. Okay, to be is expected. Ah, I'm sorry, I just missed up the logic. Okay, wait a second. Let me just start the server. I'm just in a second. Yes, yeah, Shabab, I'm back, but I this is why you should always write unit tests. Because sometimes I mean the rain to be honest, the main reason why you write unit tests is to see if your logic is not tightly coupled that you can introduce changes to your to your functions to your methods and that is not so tightly coupled because if you struggle to write, write unit tests you will notice that your logic is not the best i mean not the, the implementation of the logic business logic is not the best and that's why you should make it smaller perhaps and so on but also sometimes you figure out that you have a logic error and i have had a small logic error here as you can see i've changed to some things uh like from a date i had it in us but i am here in europe and in europe we have always the day first then the month and then the year and in the US is uh, always month first and then the day and then the year, like January 1st, January 2nd, January 3rd, February 20. And yeah, this is something I changed here. You can keep it in, U in US, English US, but then your tests will fail. You have to adopt your tests. And now the test should work. Now you see they are red, but now now i mean also you you see here in the here in the task uh how it is this is how it formatted like the cook mana mana uh, id4 let's see it here cook mana uh id4 and this is how it is year first month then and then you have the the the, the day 22 and here's 
day first, then month, then year. Okay. And now this should also, let me just stop this. To run tests from the terminal, you can use MPX, but let us now just test it with here. Let's see if the ID works. I don't know why I think there's something, but MPX V test run. Uh, still not working, still not working. And I can tell you why it's not working because I did not change this here. So this should be, ah, actually it should work. Okay. But let us see what is not, ah, okay. The 23rd, okay, okay, nice. But now let's see. Now it works, as you can see, it's green. Also, when I run again, clear, npx vtest run, also this passes. And as you can see, that's also one reason to you, why you should write unit test, is because, not first of all, to, to see if your logic, as I said, is not too tightly coupled, if you have to break out some things, or make your logic smaller, then you figure out also um, if the code behaves like I expect it to behave, especially useful for edge cases. Like normally you would always withdraw money for, for instance from a client uh, or you will deduct money from a client on, on let's say on the end of the month, let's say you always deduct money for end of the month, but what is the case when it's February and February has, you know, the end is 28 or sometimes 29 in in a four year period. And, but normally it's always the 30 you deduct money and this is an edge case you can test. And, but you also, if you write unit tests, you understand your logic better. And to be honest, for instance, this format date I told you, I have it from the internet. And now I understand a little bit more, okay, this local was the reason why the local US uh, was the reason why the month is first and then the date comes second. And yeah, this is a reason why you should use write unit tests. And this is also the reason why we will continue to write unit tests. So. Ah, sorry, 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 sorry. There is something missing. One more method. Of course, we have the sunshine case. Now we want to see the error case. And uh, now let's copy this. Put it in here. Make a curly brace, parenthesis, and also this. Okay. When date is invalid, then return empty string. String like here when when there's an error, you you return an empty string. So when the date is correct, we go here. We we check this, okay, uh -uh, it's correct, let's return this. But in case we have the not sunshine case, this is the sunshine case, the return here, the line 20. When we have a failure case, we go to if, okay, console log and then give an empty string. Okay. Let's, let's say const invalid date, invalid. Valid date. Oh, let's give it an invalid date. Mm, let's give two thousand twenty four or twenty three, doesn't matter. Thirteen, for instance. This is invalid. Okay. Then we have a uh, result. The result will be, of course, from a date, the invalid date. And 
expect result to be empty and now we can and again run this but I think I will show you from the terminal because not all of you might have WebStorm and and from the terminal you can always run things and as you can see also this test passed and yeah you can play around like I don't know uh, for instance take I should also not work if you have just 11 and he say 89 for instance now let's run this also this passes it's great it's great and yeah this is the second test and you can have a third test you can have as many tests as you want and that's basically it for this uh, test video and the next one we'll continue to write more tests for the other uh, files in here for the other composable files and yes that's it so I hope you liked this video I hope you learned something if you did like subscribe and write some comments what can I do better and see you in the next one. Ila le kaya shabab. See you soon, guys and girls.